Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Honor Duck and we are playing Europa Universalis 4 together with the newest DLC, Rights of Man. We are in two wars at the same time, one against Novgorod that Denmark started to cleanse um, the Novgorodian heresy which they already won for 52%. I wonder how, many, how much land they're gonna take. And then secondly um, with Muscovy because for some reason Muscovy thinks that the crown of Eno should have gone to them instead of... Um, the personal union uh, between us uh, or under us, so that happened. Um, are these guys? Oh yeah, these guys are from Wittelsbach as well. That must be the reason. <laughs> this is super weird. <laughs> Same dynasty. Um, France is still de Valois, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Uh, so we haven't managed to get them, but hey, I could maybe I could actually pu these guys, although they have a strong claim. Same dynasty. Teutonic Order, Bavaria, the Palatinate, Trebizond? Trebizond has a von Wittelsbach ruling. <laughs> That's hilarious. Basileus III von Wittelsbach. Followed by Georgios von Wittelsbach. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> right, well, we're gonna, gonna let this, um, gonna let this roll again. Um... So what I want to do is I'm going to go after Burgundy over here. They just ally with France and I really don't want France in uh, my back door. So actually I'm going to move on them. We renewed another loan because we couldn't pay that one back, which is sort of a shame, but at least our income increased for paying back one of these loans. One of our merchants is bankrupt. One of our merchants abroad has returned home as a pauper after losing every single ducat. He has gone bankrupt and we will not receive benefits of his trade anymore. Um, absent merchant for 10 years or use some money, some diplo power. Um, we're gaining 0.66 from Saxony. Uh, we're gonna go for it. Why not? Save him. Right. So we're waiting for the claim on this. And then, I mean, I could just give it to Enno instead. They have, they have a claim, but... I really don't want to give my subjects too much, um, too much land. We've gained the imperial ban against Hungary. Yeah, they indeed have taken imperial provinces. Incredible, Hungary! You must have a death wish. You must have a death wish, dude. And they announced me as their new rival. They are still in the coalition. I hope they get kicked out at some point. Um, Twenty-three aggressive expansion. Seventy-eight, seventy-nine. Can't really attack them, and I guess they know that, you nasty buggers. Um, is that in a state that I have? No. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna force them to give that back somehow. They're allied with Lithuania, who I can't touch either. That's super annoying. That's super annoying. I should have should have given these guys some some assistance. Um, that's gonna reduce our imperial authority by 0 0.05, I think. <clears throat> could be worse. Could also be a lot better. Um, let's return this guy from the Palatinate. Right, so, Burgundy. We do want a claim on Rethel. Let's go for it. Uh, we're gonna bring you back now, because we don't need to spy on you anymore. Uh, we're basically gonna declare war on these guys, um, which might reduce France's trust. We're only at 56. Let's up that to 61. Um, although maybe I shouldn't have done that, but yeah, I, I'll be able to to finish off Hungary and Lithuania on their own. If Hungary actually leaves um, the coalition, I'll be able to do that rather easily. So right, we're at 61 trust right now. Uh, so let's attack these guys right now. Take Rothel with my own claim. France will not join because they're fighting in another war. Um, so let's go for that. Um, Teutonic Order and Eno. I'm, I'm both, both will have to do this. So Eno, get, get cracking. Although let's, let's give it to Teutonic Order. Let's see where, where are they? Where's the Teutonic Order? Are they far east? Not really. Not really. Where are these guys? Teutonic Order. Where are your troops? Are they over there? No, these are all Danish. Danish ships. Um, don't really see the Teutonic Order troops. Oh well then. They get there. 
Maybe they have been wiped. Hungary. Yeah, the unlawful territory is only going to hurt me more. But I guess I got to do it. No, I don't have to, actually. They are my rival, so that's not a thing. Mm. Yeah, no, I guess I have no choice. Um, I'm not going to do it. It's going to make it more painful for them to hold on to it, but... Come on, move it. Okay, yeah, that was the Burgundian army, or what was left of it. Let's reduce our let's reduce our our army upkeep again. Let's uh, mothball the forts again. Let's go for the political uh, map mode. It can be difficult to see what's actually going on over here. What are these guys doing? Alsace and Lorraine. Who's fighting whom? Third Lorrainian conquest of Alsace. Um, so who are you fighting? Lorraine, Baden, and Aachen. Lorraine, Baden, Aachen. And you're fighting Alsace, Mainz, Nassau, and Liège. They should be able to do this. What do you want? Verden and Riga. Your allies, Brunswick, Frankfurt, Ulm, Liège. Oh yeah, run through my land if you have to. I wonder. I hope they don't take that land. Alsace, Mainz, Nassau, Liège. I could actually sort of rent out my troops to Alsace. Um, okay, we're at war, so I can't. Ah, oh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. This is been occupied by Lorraine. I doubt that Lorraine will actually um, return the unlawful territory. I mean, I'm going to improve relations with them. They have a de Valois on the throne. That's interesting. Oh, they actually... I guess they're going to take it for themselves. But I can always flip the occupation of um, provinces of uh, my vassals. To myself. Muscovy tell us about the event of cotton imports. When among the possible options they went with, we will not restrict free trade. Okay. And they tell us of the popularization of silk fabrics. Silk has been in high demand. Um, with the great availab availability of silk, both raw and woven, the demand for silk cloth in the West is soaring even higher. Okay. That's nice. Ravensburg entered the military alliance with Styria and Lüneburg. And we will have to we will have to return that to the Empire soonish. Lithuania has sabotaged our diplomatic reputation, which has resulted in the Teutonic Order being sort of annoyed with me. Not good. Let's placate the local rulers um, to get that back down. Very annoying. Very annoying. Recover some Mugitia. Yeah, they, these guys might attack me, which will allow me to sort of return that land to Styria. Because uh, they will pull in Hungary. Danish purge of Novgorod in heresy. What happened? Um, we get actually 60 ducats out of this. Um, Novgorod will renounce their claims. War reparations. That's it. That's kind of shitty for 50 war score. I'm just saying. We gained 7 favors with Denmark. Um, as if we hadn't already had enough. Uh, let's go for that one. They trust us utterly. <laughs> Unlawful territory. I have to monitor these situations. Okay, no, they didn't take that one for themselves. Burgundy. Sue for peace. I'm going to take Rothel. It's going to give me some aggressive expansion. Oh, yeah, we have... Let me just have a look at the trust that we have from France. 61 currently. We annex one of their allies, um, which I want to do. Give me your money, which is 150. I would like... I mean... If we were not to annex them, no, I can't get them to revoke any cause, so that's about it. Yep, you're mine now. Okay, I demanded their full annexation. Let's start coring. How's your trust now? Still 61, so that didn't actually make it any difference. Whatsoever, that's pretty good to know. Um, I could still attack the Papal State. And sort of break the alliance with uh, with France at least because this is really annoying that I can't get in there 
I guess I can't do that right now. I also wanna wanna get the next level of reforms. We have to go down. I'm not currently getting any of or oh, entering any of the lands that I have over here into the empire, mainly because I want to keep them for the point in time where we won't have the re-elections anymore over here with the Erbkaiser tomb. Uh, we're done improving with Mali. Make the Palatinate vote for us. Will give us um, diplomatic reputation. That's not impossible. Territorial claims is a problem. Well, we could try. We could try. Why not? Um, so let's go and improve with the Palatinate. Come on, improve. And I basically will have to integrate them. Not possible to inherit unless Union has been stable for 15 years. So in 1710 we will be able to get them. It's kind of annoying to have these um, this small guy over there. We're done improving with Hungary. We're done improving with the Palatinate. Yeah, that mission will never end. Never end. Annoying that Hungary has that land, but oh well. Oh yeah, allies. Only Lithuania and in the coalition. Building training fields. We're missing out on a lot of a lot of good things. Why is our income down? We don't have that one. Hmm. Poland has sabotaged our military recruitment. Yeah, I don't care. We're already at maximum manpower, so they can do what they want. I'd rather have um, people um, or the, the espionage system in a way that I can send one guy to do counter espionage um, instead of having to specifically do counter espionage against one specific land or against one specific country. That's kind of annoying. Okay, Our diplomats have stopped trying to improve with Mali. That's fine. Um, I could just try to make peace with Muscovy. I'm really not interested in this continuing any longer. Um, and basically, yeah, I only want money and war reparations. We only get 12 out of this money, so don't really care for it. And you're going to annul treaties with... And you have Ming as your rival. Yeah, that's all fine and dandy. Whatever. So, Eno is now under our personal union. Yes, they are. They don't have any liberty desire. Uh, we have a bunch of people that want to move through our land. I mean, yes, I'm going to grant it to the Palatinate. So they like me a little bit more. Um, these guys want to run through my land for reasons of their own, I guess. And someone wishes to hire Condottieri. Yeah, Alsace wants Condottieri. I could do this, but problem is they might also take someone else. I mean, what would you be willing to take? I can only rent out 25 of my units. Yeah, I'm not sure. I might just go for the for the unlawful claim or the unlawful territory. It's gonna be worth it to get to Ewiger Landfriede. That might be super useful. Um, disallow internal HRE wars. I'm really looking forward to that one. Uh, let's just go and improve relations with our subject. Uh, we could also well, we're already fully improved over there. Mm, this will hurt our relations severely to revoke the march, but it might not. The tyrant overlord, really? Why? They have 34k. I'm not sure if it's good to keep them as a march, because we, we might want to annex them at some point. I mean, it's gonna it's gonna cost a lot of money, and it's gonna cost um, it's gonna take a while. Although I could improve my diplomatic reputation, might not be a bad idea to go for influence instead. Uh, let's just go up in speed here. Got some rivals. We're done improving with Lorraine, who I expect will take some land over there, which won't make me happy. Augsburg has embraced many factories. 
that's all fine and dandy. Uh, we renewed another loan. Luckily, we don't have that many. We just have a huge amount. It's going to take me a while to pay all that back. Still getting six from war reparations, which is pretty pretty handy. Poland has been discovered while building a spy network. Well, I guess I gotta counter espionage against Poland. They're really they're doing their best to hurt me as much as possible. Um, they have 28 aggressive expansion. It's dying down slowly, but surely. And Lorraine actually took took that land. Allied with Baden, allied with Aachen. Alsace. Recently forced Lorraine to return territory. Is a Lorrainian claim. Well, that's not how it's gonna work, dude. Alright then. This means war, Lorraine. I hope you are prepared for that. Allied with Aachen and Baden. Fine then. Let's go. Let's improve our army maintenance. Not sure if I need to bring up all the forts, but I mean, it can't hurt. Let's declare the war. I mean, I do have subjects that can actually fight this war. Um, let's just go for a siege focus on these guys as well. I don't necessarily need them, but I have them, so why not use them? I can invest in a new tech. I can invest in a new Diplo tech. Well, I'm gonna keep my Diplo points for now. Lorraine, let's declare war. These guys are all gonna join, but it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna go for Alsace. Free the Imperial Principality that we lost. That's not gonna, it's not gonna fly. Uh, Baden might join. Yep, they joined. So I hope that I can actually get a, a little bit of money out of this. National institutions. As of late, more and more people are requesting representative national institutions. Mm. I don't want to lose the stability. Give them what they want. I think we'll, we'll try and be happy with that. Um, and no, I wanted to siege down Aachen. Might not be able to do that, though. It's a level 5 fort. Well, let's give that to the Teutonic Order. Oh, that's a level 7 fort. Holy crap. We're gonna give that one to... Ah, doesn't really matter. They can do something. We're still busy calling Rithel, which is another province that we can add to the Empire. That's kind of nice. Uh, Battle of Baden has been won. We'll be able to siege that one down super quick. Oh crap, we might actually lose that one here. Interesting. I hadn't thought that would happen. Okay then, guess we gotta give these guys the boot and march over there super quick. Come on guys, no, nope. incredible, we actually lost. Okay then, we're being the attacked here, that's, that's something. We'll just join the fight again. Yeah, we don't have any problems now, good. I guess these guys weren't, weren't recharged. Come on. We're going to Tonic Order. What are you doing? Battle of Alsace is done. Um, our general gained the Battlefield Medic trait, which gives him reinforced speed plus 33%. That's fine. Um, Eno is teaching down Aachen, right? So yeah, I'm going to give that to Eno again. Um, let's give that one to the Teutonic Order. These guys are gonna run back here. They're gonna get smushed. Yeah, they're dead. And uh, these guys as well, I guess. Yep, they are dead as well. So let's bring these guys out. And uh, we're gonna siege down Baden with these guys. Oh, this is the Burgundian core. These guys are the Palatians. They're just busy coring this. So if we if we're quick enough, they won't get a core there, so that they can reconquest it without. Um, Uh, 
without me being able to do anything because when they have a core it's no longer imperial uh, it's no longer unlawful territory i'm not gonna call in Münster because i want all the money of this war for myself and if they get called in they'll get some war contribution which i don't want so we'll i don't think i don't think the calling will progress once i once i got this one over here um for myself once i got that one siege down um, so, move these guys back to Heidelberg. And we've got Baden already. We already won against them. Palatinate declared war on Mainz with a reconquest causes belly. Yeah, that is exactly the problem that we have there. Um, they're gonna take him. And they're gonna eat him. Who are your allies? Cyprus, Ragusa, Hesse, Münster and Ravensburg. Münster and Ravensburg, that's a problem. I mean, I can just I can just force mines out of them again. Um, maybe, maybe. Um, I can't help them. Who are you fighting? Mines in Brandenburg. Well, that might actually not go in your favor, Palatinate. Let's hope it doesn't happen. Who are your allies? Palatinate, Hesse, Münster, Ravensburg. Yeah. Brandenburg might might be able to hold its own. Uh, I think we're going to piece out these guys. Uh, more reparations. Bunch of money. And as many treaties as possible. To make this truce timer long. Um, they can exist. That's all fine and dandy. So let's go for that. Let's piece out Baden. We're going to wait for Aachen as well. Aachen must have a lot of money because they're a free city. And let's also hope that Lorraine has a bunch of money. We're basically busy policing the Empire again. We also will have to march against Hungary in the next episode, I think. Or as soon as they leave the coalition, we're going to march against them. It could take a couple more years. But then we'll, we'll force Krain out of them. Let's hope that I can make that happen. These guys, they are no longer willing to vote for me, Münster. That's kind of a shame. Very annoying. Let's hope that that changes once there, uh, once the heir of our own dynasty gets to the throne. That would be pretty, pretty nifty. I'm not sure if I want to bestow the imperial grace. I want to get to the next imperial reform as fast as possible. There are only 12 princes for the reform and 25%, uh, 25 princes against it. Very, very annoying. But yeah, I'm going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of this series in the future. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Hope you join me next time. Thanks and bye bye.